Now, the fire is linked by the champions who have come in his stead. <laughs> Such is the will of Father and the gods. And so the Dark Moon Knights took arms to watch over those who link the fire. But long ago, our company lost its last proper knight. Only its covenant was preserved to this day. Until the time of thy visit. Adam taketh many forms, indeed. Is that the first time a character even, like, actually explicitly describes linking the fire and Gwyn? Because <laughs> Framped, Framped be Lion and Dark Souls 1, we know that. That's like the first time somebody's like, yeah, this is what linking the fire is. <laughs> so she is, she called uh, Guinevere a sister and Gwyn a father. So she is another child of Gwyn that we had not met before. Um, I'm assuming she's not. Yeah, because she called, yeah, she called Guinevere a sister. So she's not like Guinevere's daughter or anything. But then again, she also looks different, right? Off so soon. May the dark moon watch over thee. <laughs> I I really like that she says off so soon because she's like pretty lonely. Um She she has like Priscilla like features, right? She has like really lanky, kind of almost scaly looking skin on her arms. And uh she also has a tail. So I don't know. Cause she, yeah, she if she called maybe maybe when she's referring to Guinevere, she's referring to her as a sister, as in like she is the sister of like the gods, right? But I don't know, I'm not really sure. She's a lot like younger and smaller looking, so it kind of makes you think that she was born sometime after Lordran in the Age of Fire, or like the original Age of Fire. Um, yeah, so. Biggest question here, though, is why the fuck is she off in this tower, like to the left, hidden almost? <laughs> and she's alone. She's very lonely, and she's like, "Where, where are you going? Are you leaving so soon?" <laughs> and you're the only knight, she says, even though that's a bullshit lie. <laughs> I was stabbed by one. Uh, yeah. So, why is she here? That should be your first question, and we will answer that soon. But. Kind of makes you think, what's the, what the fuck is wrong with Anne Orlando? Why aren't you in that big old castle <laughs> next to you? Peyton Guardian's Curved Sword from Dark Souls 1 as well. Every every item here is just going to be from Dark Souls 1. I'll, I'll just say that now and get that out of the way. <laughs> yep. I'll, yep. <laughs> the Painting Guardians. A bit of a quote-unquote platforming challenge here. So let's read the sword. Wherever that is. Curved swords, hello. There we go. A weapon described in legends passed down amongst heretics wielded by the painted guardians. A uniquely shaped weapon with a flat tip. Chained dance. Execute relentless consecutive attacks while tracing a circle in a unique dance of deadly grace. That's new. I actually don't even remember this. Oh, damn, that's actually sick. Okay. <laughs> so it's kind of like a spinning slash, but like a unique version of it. Very nice. And then we got their outfit. Attire of the painted guardians, whose forms are described in the mythology of heretics. A smooth pale gown that deters magic. The hunchbacked teller of ancient tales describes unwanted souls who are unwelcome across the lands and are eventually drawn into a cold, painted world. So we know that that's Ariandel. Not Ariandel, my bad. Uh, we're sorry, we just talked to that character. Um, Ariamis. Hunchbacked teller of ancient tales. Who the fuck is that? Nothing's coming to mind, actually. I'm sure I'm just, like, blanking on it. <laughs> Can't ever drop names, of course. <laughs> uh, no, but it also, both of those items says something about, uh... I really like the, the shape of this outfit, but... I never, like... 
I don't know how I feel about like the leatheriness of it. It's like a little too shiny. It could be used though. Um, so both of those items talked about how the uh, painted guardians were remembered and that it was like told in legend, right? Like what they were like and like what they look like. So when you get their armor there, it's kind of like they're not still really around. They're just remembered. So this drops all the way back down to the beginning of Irithyll, or like uh, like the midpoint of it, actually. And we're just going to teleport back up. And we had the bonfire at the prison tower there, but... Dark Souls 1 areas having Dark Souls some items. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd be weird if they didn't, like, throw a bunch of homages at you during this. But that's why it's great. But also what I love about it is that you're coming on to a tainted version of it. And we haven't really experienced that yet, but we will. We got some more Silver Knights to deal with, though. Of course. And this is the farming location if you want any Silver Knight uh, equipment. <laughs> And, uh, drop rates are not generous for these guys, either. Let's get out of the range of that other one. Oh, I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. He's coming. <laughs> ah! Give me a chance. Hear me out, guys. I'll have the money next week. Fuck. <laughs> Good shit. <laughs> hey, they did their job. You have to respect it. I'm trying to remember who that uh, hunchback guy that it mentioned was talking about. Like, I don't, I don't know. I can't think of who that was. So. It has to be someone, though. It's such like a specific description. We need my friend Alec in here. He could probably remember. Just keep doing the same charge over and over again. <laughs> I should have just pulled this guy down from the beginning. Oh, that still hit me. No, he's still there. He can hear me. <laughs> oh my god, he has the vision of like a reasonable human being. Oh, here we are again in the exact same scenario. <laughs> Nothing changes. Nothing improves. Alright, I'm going for it. No, oh, the fucking shield! God damn it. <laughs> oh, they're so competent. I don't like it. <laughs> I prefer my Dark Soul enemies uh, a little a little dumb, thank you. Legitimately though, that's actually something that they do a lot that I love, which is that like they give like Oh, that's not what I meant to do. They give, uh... Different enemies, like, different competence in their AI. Specifically to, like, who they are. And they, they definitely always wanted you to think Silver Knights and Black Knights were, like, the most competent. Got him. And we have one Estus for the rest of the area. <laughs> no, we can't. We can't. <laughs> I can't do the rest of the area with only one Estus. We gotta try again. Run it back. Set two. Money match. Come on. <laughs> I, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna pull him all the way to the elevator. Oh, he doesn't see me. Come on, then. Let's go for a ride on the elevator.
No way. <laughs> they know all the tricks. No, he won't come on. He won't do it. Okay, but the other one's turning back though, so I think we can... Forgetting I'm not two handing. Again? <laughs> All right. We did it. Now we just go for the second one, and that should be easy enough. Just take my time. Unless you guys think I should go for the parry again. <laughs> I'm willing, I'm willing. <laughs> I didn't get it. <laughs> Very nice. Is there another one? Why the fuck is this here? That's interesting. Is it? It's a prism stone, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think that's a glitch. I don't think that's supposed to be there. This one has red eyes. Careful. He's got the Sharingan. I think they just do more damage, don't they? Or might be like more aggressive. Oh God, so much damage. <laughs> to be fair, we're wearing like no armor. <laughs> But fashion souls, though, you know? This is, one of, this is a really good view to look at, actually. That's still one of my favorite things about this game and all these games, is just looking back. It's like, oh, okay, so there... It's the guy with the scythe, and then Pontiff's room. Fireballs, giants, PvP. <laughs> Dude, is that an item? No, that's just the glare. Okay, I'm like, did I miss a huge fucking item? And also, why is it loading from here? <laughs> I only face tanked it because I tried to parry. It's not my fault. <laughs> you shut your mouth. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be closed, as you would expect. And uh, this is where the blacksmith was, the giant blacksmith in Dark Souls 1. Right over here in this room. Let's, let's say hello. I, I'm sure he's still here. Oh, God. <laughs> he's dead. It's very sad. <laughs> Vision's a friend. He was like one of the friendliest characters in that game. He was the guy who went like, uh, I know talk, but you talk. Me listen. Then he would make us some cool boss weapons. He was the boss weapons guy. It's actually really depressing. <laughs> and it's also interesting to think that he like stuck around for this long and he just kind of withered out and died. Probably really had nowhere else to go. And uh, we got the slush. You hear that little... That little squish on our steps? <laughs> I wasn't there last time I was here. 